Welcoming Chris DiPaolo, Senior Systems Engineer at Acuity Insurance to the live stream. We're gonna be talking about using Glueware for eVPN VXLAN data center with CICD integration. Uh, Chris, give us a real quick background on Acuity because it kind of matters for this conversation. Yeah, absolutely. So Acuity is a nationwide insurance company, but within IT, we um, jokingly, well, maybe not, uh, we say that we are uh, a software development company that sells insurance. Um, we have 250 plus developers that work for us. So it's, yeah, it's very software kind driven. Of a big deal. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so app deployment and so on is a big deal for you. Infrastructure Absolutely. management is a big deal for you. And you guys were no strangers to network automation before your time with Glueware. You were uh, Python and using some legacy NCCM, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we, you know, started down the road. Um, we did a, a major network um, data center overhaul. And we were originally looking at, uh, you know, the the Juniper software, things like that. Um, but a lot of these softwares out there that are um, uh, pre-built, they're not, they're greenfield only. Um, brownfield is almost impossible. So then we started looking at NCCM tools um, and we did settle on the, the tool, um, uh, you know, our legacy tool. Um, and we originally started out actually using their um, uh, domain specific language. Um, we had no programming skills really on the team yet. Um, so we started out with their language, eventually evolved into Python. Um, just, you know, obviously because Python is far more uh, flexible. But mm -hmm. the thing is, is, it took us a long time to get even the first production scripts uh, up and running. So, so, so. Ansible. I mean, if you are in mm -hmm. Python, you're kind of comfortable with tools. A logical progression a lot of shops make is Ansible next. Did you go yeah. there? No, we didn't. Um, so uh, prior to CICD, we had actually looked into Ansible. Um, uh, the problem is that the, with you know the research that we did, it's a great product, um, and we know especially from um, the server team's perspective, Ansible is great. Um, there are a lot of uh, network shops that use it as well. Uh, it didn't seem to fit uh, in what we were trying to do because first off, we didn't have that um, that experience. It was a lot of uh, learning, a huge learning curve that was coming into it, um, and on top of it, we just it was it was going to be far too complex in our eyes for where we were at the time. Now jumping into CI/CD, mm. our server team, our open engineering team. I mean, they are obviously um, that was probably their first go to was uh, Ansible, and uh, rightfully so. It's great for them. Um, but you know, again, we continued to evaluate it and just realized um, the complexity of CI/CD itself is it can be overwhelming. So you know, trying to trying to do something with a really complex CICD uh, infrastructure, you know, then basically CICD complexity trying to run complex NCCM tools and scripts and so forth was just uh, mind boggling. So, okay, you ended up with, with Glueware at some point here, but yeah. let, let's help me understand the CICD part of this. When you say that, what that means to me is you've got some kind of uh, GitLab, something with a version Correct. control where you've got some config snippets, artifacts that you're going to be pushing down as your, your kind of your golden code that you're going to push down into the network. And I'm assuming Glueware is the tool you're using to, to do that. Is that roughly what your CICD pipeline looks like? Yeah, it's a combination, right? So um, the big thing here is intent-based, right? That's the, that's the buzzword, but it's the truth. Um, we really were focused on intent-based. We just want to say, hey, this, these are the data points, right? And then we want a tool or a script or whatever it was going to be to be able to just take those data points and apply it. Um, and we didn't want to have to constantly send commands to a device, um, and, and, and meaning that our scripts just built off of commands and and so forth. We we really wanted to just be data points that we could take um, and and send, if you will, to a device, right? So that um, is, you don't you don't want to have to be maintaining a Python script yourself that is pushing a bunch of data down into uh, the network. You want to have some tool that's going to manage all of that for you, and correct. You don't want to have to worry about the devices themselves so, so much. Correct. Right. So in the CI/CD side, we would have like a configuration file, but that config file is not. Uh, it's basically just data points. It's IP addresses or you know things like that. It's um, not specific CLI commands. Correct. Correct. Yep. Now in Glueware, so that what we do is our, our pipelines take that those data points um, that have been uh, put in either manually or through somebody else's pipeline. So like the server team, they do something new. Um, it may uh, they may draw a new. Uh, you know, I don't know, IP address or um, host name that gets sent into our pipeline. Our pipeline then sends that information, uh, just those data points over to Glueware. 
And then inside of Glueware is where the, the the main data model is, if you will. That's where kind of the source of truth for um, for for the configurations are. So those data points are put into this configuration model, and that configuration model knows how to ingest all those data points, and it and it does the the sending of the commands. I don't have to have that those commands set in fifty thousand different places though. Mm -hmm. They're in one place, and Glueware knows how to take those data points, apply them to the commands depending on whether it be device or whatever the case is. And, and it sends it to um, to all the network devices on the end of it. So uh, you, you described something at the top of that bit that sounded mm -hmm. like the Holy Grail to me. That is the server folks were standing up some bit of infrastructure, shipped over some of those data points, IP addresses maybe, yep. over into your, your world, so to speak, the network automation side of things. And that kicked off the process to get that network provisioning done uh, right. via Glueware. Did you, as the network person, have to even be involved in that happening now that the pipeline's been set up? Uh, up front, yes. Um, but that's not, um, from a technology perspective, we shouldn't have to be, um, and, and we won't have to be. That is that is the holy grail, right? Um, we are still working on that piece of it. We're, we're, we're still in the infancy of CICD itself um, uh, in, in terms of the, the production. But yes, that's that's the end state, and that's what we're actually driving towards today is to just for pipelines to be able to pass variables around um, and for somebody else's pipeline um, that's, you know, it could just ingest that data and do something with it. And, and the thing that you're provisioning specifically, we, we mentioned uh, VXLAN EVPN, you know, at the mm -hmm. top here, is that you're doing a lot of that standing up new uh, EVPN segments and such? Yeah. So the big thing that we came, that was the first question that we had for Blue Air when we started talking to them. Um, we have a very complex uh, EVP and VXLAN um, uh, infrastructure. There's a lot of um, IP addressing and other data points, BGPAS is all that kind of stuff. Um, we're doing a lot of service chaining, so forth and so on. It's not just a simple, straightforward cookie cutter, um, which is what you got from a lot of the other um, like vendor tools and so forth. So we, you know, we made it very clear at Glueware, we need something that's going to be simple for us, where we just send you some IP addresses, where we send, you know, we put uh, IPs into Glueware. And Glueware does the rest. Um, I don't want to have to worry about what's you know what's the first IP to go on what interface, all that good stuff. And that's actually what they delivered. So from day one, that's um, we told them what we needed. Um, there were several sessions that we did, you know, Zoom meetings or whatever. Got them the information clarified, and they gave us a data model. And we were able to start applying to that data model both either through the web UI or through API calls. I, I, I love that you said, I don't want to have to think about this because uh, network engineers, we tend to want to be very tight fisted and, and controlling, but there gets to be a point, especially when you're trying to do a very complex configuration or scale where that's not practical. You right. have to let go a bit and let the tools do the job. And, yeah. and, and to your point, you said to Gluer, this is the way we want this to work. And now that's happening. Correct. Yep. And so they developed that data model for us. Um, but the cool thing is that, you know, we started out as, as kind of your uh, you know, your standard user, we had some, some needs, but we've, we've evolved into, uh, advanced users as well. We are using lab. Um, so we can, uh, either create our own features, data models, so forth, or we can take an existing one that, uh, Glueware has, you know, maybe they've done for another customer or that, um, they've already kind of, you know, got worked out and we can, uh, they can provide that to us where we can modify it to, to suit us more, you know, to suit us better. So, uh, we can go simple and use what's built in. We can have them build something for us, or we can, we can build it on our own. So. So now that Glueware is tightly integrated into the environment, wh where are you at with the legacy NCCM tools and uh, in your Python scripts and such, is there still a role for those tools? Slowly dying. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, there, there, you know, um, so the long, in terms of automation, no. They obviously, because uh, well, so one of the NCCMs is a, is a vendor that we also use for IPAM and so forth. And, and because of that, um, there is some integration there that we're kind of, uh, we're hoping to be able to figure out. But other than that, uh, we, we want to get rid of those and just kind of focus on, on one tool. Uh, and that, that Glue Eric seems to be that, that one tool that can do it all for us. Excellent. Thank you, Chris, for talking us through how you were making CICD style infrastructure provisioning a reality with Glueware and the Glueware API. Uh, I've heard a few of these stories and they're all a bit 
complex, but uh, yeah. th this this was a, a straightforward one. I get exactly how you're doing this. Coming up next, we are chatting with one of the most well-known networking consultancies in the U.S. to explain how they are employing Glueware at their customer sites. We will be right back. <laughs> 